Assalamu alaikum. This is your computer science teacher, Sir Fawad Afansari. Today I explain you run length encoding, and uh, I have already made this video, but this is uh, a part two. So in this video we will deal a black and white image. I have already copied the image from their website. So how does the run length encoding works on a black and white image? So basically it works raw by raw means it scans the data line by line or you may say you may say that it reads the data line by line if we have got a grid and the dimensions are 8 by 8 or 12 by 8 or 15 by 10 or 20 by 20 or 30 by 30 whatever the grid size it does not matter but it reads or it scans the data line by line. So let's see if you focus on my mouse pointer. So we are about to start the scanning the data. We have got two number of whites. So we write one and one because white color indicates uh, with the number one. And if we count number of blacks 1 2 3 and 4 so we put here four zeros because zero indicates black color then here we got two number of white so we have written here two times one this is it now hop to the next line there are two whites again so we have written two number of ones then we have got one black then one times zero then one two three four and five number of white so we have written here five number of ones this is how the binary conversion works then again in the third row we have got two number of whites so we have written here two times one then we have got one black so we have written here zero and then one two three four and five so we have got five number of ones this is a binary representation now we apply run length encoding so it start with the first row we have got two number of ones means we have got two number of whites so we have replaced it by two times w now let's interpret this black color so one two three four four times zero so we have written here four times b then we have got two number of ones which indicate white so we have written here w same we will do in the next row we have got two number of whites so we have replaced one with the white uh, w and one with the w again then we have got one black then we placed one b then one two three four white so we replaced the number one with the alphabet w which indicates white color so this is pretty much interesting but it is just keep getting better and better now if we consider this portion of code now we are applying further more run line encoding so how do we compress the data this is the compression time so raw number one we have got two number of w so we write in our table two w now i give some space for my understanding now we have got four number of white blacks so i write four counting and the black color and then we have got two number of whites again so i write counting that we have got two whites and i write w so this is for the raw number one so i write here raw number one okay now next raw number two let's interpret this raw okay now in the second raw we have got again two number of whites so i write two w then uh, we have got one black so i write one b then we have got one two three four and five five number of whites so i write five w now repeat the same process again for the raw three so raw number three again two number of whites and one black and again five number of whites now next draw number four one two three and four two number of whites and three number of black two number of whites and three number of blacks and then 
okay now next one two three four we have got three number of wives next the same thing will be done with the row number five okay now let's start counting one two three four and five so we have got two number of whites and one number of black and uh, we have got one two three four five five number of white colors now raw number six one two three four five and six okay raw number six two whites one black and five number of whites again Now row number seven. Two whites, one black, and again we have got five number of whites. Then row number eight, last row, two white, four black, and uh, two whites. Okay, I hope it is cleared. Okay, let's just do a cross check that we have done correct or wrong. So let's start checking. Two, four, eight, okay. All right, this is done. Nicely done, right? All right, now it's done. Now next step is the is to find a total number of bytes. So let me zoom it for you, and let me do a little bit, little bit bold. To increase the readability so let's start counting for the row number one i uh, i'm counting okay so one two three four five six so we have got six bytes here okay let me hold it for you too as well all right so next row number two we have got uh, let's start counting one two three four five six we have got again six bytes seems pretty much easy now next one two three four and five six what a coincidence we have got another six bytes next again start counting one two three four five six okay no problem so uh, all of the bytes are somehow six so if we just keep counting we get same number of six bytes it is a coincidence it is not the fixed value like you always get the six byte may be possible in row number two you might get 10 bytes or row number three you might get 15 bytes row number three you might get uh, row number four you might get one byte or uh, two bytes or row number nine may be possible you might get 15 bytes so this is not the fixed value that you always get the six bytes this is basically a coincidence so now let's start counting the total number of bytes six plus 6 12 plus 6 18 and so on so when you count it so it becomes approximate 48 bytes so the grid size is if we talk about the grid size it is of 8 by 8 means the grid size is 64 bytes and how much our run and encoding compress the data and it allows uh, only 48 bytes so we are just consuming 48 bytes out of 64 bytes so pretty much storage has been saved this is how we have to do it i hope you understood it and uh, i am about to share the worksheet with you guys okay this is a worksheet that i have taken the images from the website and i just drew the table uh, which uh, tells you what to do basically so I did not draw these images I have taken from random websites collected the compiled the pictures for your ease so you may have uh, a good practice over it all right so one colored image I put it there but if you have confusion in the color picture so you may also ask me 
so this is how it is nicely done in the black and white image but the colored image is a bit different how do we do the color image uh, i will explain this in the next video thank you so much allah hafiz